fasting is one of the pillars of Islam, correct? Now, but is there anything which uh, differentiates the act of worship, fasting, the pillar, from the other four pillars, perhaps? As I mentioned earlier, that there are five pillars of Islam, and all of them are important. But the differentiation between psalm, fasting, as compared to other pillars is that the other pillars of Islam, whether it be Salah, whether it be Zakat, whether it be Hajj, it can be done by a person to show to the others, for yeah, to be seen or to be heard. You know, maybe I want to show myself, you know, I'm a very pious person, so I'm offering Salah to show to the people. You know, I'm going for Hajj to make a show of it. Can be possible. Can be possible to give charity so that people will say I'm a charitable person, for sure. But fasting cannot be done for yeah. Cannot be done to show other people why. A person can easily fast, and when no one is watching, he can have food, he can have drink. If a person who truly fasts and abstains from things that break the fast, he's doing it only for Allah and no one else. So that is the difference between Psalm and the other pillars of Islam. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1904. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, Allah says, that all the deeds done by the sons of Adam, they are for themselves only. He does it for himself. But fasting is for me. And I will reward him. And fasting is a shield. A person fasting, he abstains from obscene things. He abstains from lying. And abstains from yelling. And if a person gets angry at him and abuses him, he says, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. And then the hadith further goes on, and Muhammad Sallallahu says, that I swear by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad, that the breath of a person who fasts is sweeter to Allah than the scent of musk. And a person who fasts, he feels happy twice. Once while breaking the fast, and once when he meets his creator, his Lord. So in this hadith, there are various aspects mentioned. First is that fasting is only done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one else. It's not for Yah. Secondly, fasting is a shield. It's a protection. It keeps you away from wrong things, from obscenity, from vulgarity. And if someone is angry, it says that you have to calm him down, say, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. Because the hadith where Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa says, in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, hadith number 2038, that the Satan runs in the circulatory system of the human being like the blood. So when we fast, we feel hungry. When we're hungry, you know, the energy level goes down and the things which are required for doing things away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so taqwa level goes up. Because when we eat food, it goes into the blood. When we restrict food, the restriction of the pathway of the Satan is there. So that is the reason when we fast, our taqwa level increases.